I don't care how many times I try it, when I think of it, all I can hear is the doc saying this. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious- Welcome to episode 88 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, I will be your host, and if you're watching and not listening, you'll see I'm coming to you from my garage. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, today's moment of clarity is people don't remember the things you had to do. People just remember the things you didn't have to do. I learned this from an amazing businessman. His name is Scott Beeler, CEO of the West Her Automotive Group. And here's the principle. He said, you know, if someone, you sell someone a car, they don't remember that you worked hard to get the financing or you worked hard to make sure the trade was right. Like that's all stuff that they expect you to do. But what they will remember is if, for instance, he hears, the salesperson hears that your son is a huge Eagles fan. And when you deliver the car, you have an Eagles hat for the young man. Guess what? You didn't have to do that. And that is the one thing people will remember. So remember, what can you do to go over and above and do something you didn't have to do that's driven by your understanding of what they actually value? People don't remember the things you had to do. People remember the things you didn't have to do. And that's today's moment of clarity. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Okay, Paul's pick for this week is easy. Rainy fall days and a warm stove inside the house. There is nothing like seeing a flame and feeling the warmth on a rainy, cool fall day. I don't care, you can keep your 90 degrees and sunny. Oh, this is one of the best feelings in the world. So for all of you that don't get to experience fall, I'm sorry, but this is the best part of fall. That's a winner. That's my pick for this week. This week, I wanna talk about the principle of bringing people closer. Bringing people closer. I did an interesting experiment on Instagram this week. What I did was I went through my, um, my Instagram, people I follow, and people who follow me, and I picked a dozen people that have in one way enriched my life. In one way, um, they create art that I like to look at, or you know they're just really positive and encouraging, um, or I've met them at some point, and they've had some level of impact on me. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a post, or I'm gonna make this list of close friends, and I'm gonna spend some time introducing them to one another and telling them why, telling everyone in that close friends group why these people meant something to me. And I made a post, and the first one said, hey everybody, I'm trying this, I really, all of you have affected me in one way or another, and I think it would be great if you knew one another. So I hope you check out each other's stuff and follow each other's stuff. And then after that, what I did was I said, okay, first up is this person, and why I like following them on Instagram, or where, tell a little backstory about how I met them, why they're important to me, and then I would post some of their work or some of their posts so that everybody could interact. And let me tell you, what happened with that is that everyone in that group responded to me. Everyone in that group sent me a DM and it started rekindled this conversation between us. You know, that really is the value of bringing people close, is that you begin to connect. Many people in the business world have seen, and not in the business world, have seen Simon Sinek's talk and read his book, Start With Why, and saw his talk about the why, finding your why. And basically he says, well, you know, what is your purpose in business? And you know, people say, well, to be profitable and to make money. And he says, no, that's a byproduct of your business. The real meaning of your business is deeper than that. And it has to do with the why. So yeah, the point of business is to make money and be profitable, but really the point of business and doing something is to bring people closer so that you can kind of rally around this central belief. And that belief could mean everything from saving the environment or to providing people with footwear so that you can donate a pair, like Tom's shoes, like if you buy a pair, we donate a pair to people who need it. So there are all these reasons 
that people do business and it all has to do with bringing people closer. And when you have to bring people closer as a business or an organization, you have to do it from both sides. You have to bring people, consumers, into your product and into your service and into your offering. But you also have to bring team members, employees, people that will work for you and with you. You have to bring them closer as well. I saw, um, if you know the, the TV, I mean, he's an entrepreneur. He's the CEO of Camping World. His name's Marcus Lemonis, and he goes into businesses and he helps people um, turn their business around. But he also is a very successful CEO and entrepreneur. And I saw him give a talk once, and he starts out by telling stories that made him very vulnerable about abuse when he was a kid and about being insecure um, when he had his first real job and when his, his dealership was acquired by AutoNation. He tells all these vulnerable stories and he said, well, I told you those things because now we have a connection. I didn't have to tell you those, but he brought the audience close. And because of that, they were listening. And business is really about bringing people close through your marketing, through your branding, through your experience, through your social media, through your internal treatment of your team and onboarding. It's about bringing people close and the benefit of when people are close, get this, you start to know one another better. You start to know what that person cares about and what really drives that person. And they start to know what you care about and what drives you. And what happens is the connection between the two of you begins to deepen. But it starts with being vulnerable enough to bring people close. It starts by stopping yelling and selling at someone just so you can get some of their money and you begin to care about and understand what they care about. Therefore, you make better products, you deliver them in a better way, create better experiences which makes them even want to close, come closer even more because you know them and because they know you. And that is what real, builds real brand connection, real brand adhesion. You think about it, what, is, what are the reasons that we typically don't bring people close? And again, they're business, and like I talk about a lot, and there's personal relationships, and there's business relationships, but they're all human relationships and with a business, maybe you don't know if your product's what they want. Maybe you've never even stopped to think. So like bringing somebody close and really sticking to the honesty and the why of why you do what you do, maybe you're afraid to do that. I mean, in personal relationships, it happens all the time. Maybe in your relationships with your team members, your employees, your team, maybe you're afraid to bring them close because there's gotta be a line between business and personal. It's gotta be the line. You know what, forget the line. Forget the line. I think clear expectations, clear vulnerabilities, and the true desire to bring people close, yes, sometimes will it get more complicated because the line is blurred between business and, absolutely. When you bring people close, guess what? It gets messy. But it's not about whether or not you can stay totally like straight line clean. Like what a boring way to be. What an unfulfilling way to be. Let's stay distanced to everybody. Team employees, let's stay, let's keep them away because I don't want to see, show, show them vulnerability because that could be weakness or that could put me in a bad negotiating position. Like, forget that. I want to do business with people that want to be close. I want to build a community of people that are willing to be close because when you bring people closer, big things happen. So today, bringing people close. Think about it for a second, take an assessment moment. What is keeping you from moving closer to your consumers, closer to your team, closer to your internal culture, closer to the relationships that mean the most to you, more vulnerable in your social media and your brand building? What is keeping you from that? The clarity of this is that when you bring people closer, good things happen. So may you bring people closer to you this week because closer, intimate, those things transcend any marketing metric, any sales tactic you could ever have. Thank you for being here. Thank you for following along. Thank you for being this part of this community. And again, may you bring people closer this week. Yeah.